monetization of lib credits. Alam nyo ba yan, employees, na pwede i-monetize o i-convert to cash ang sick leave and vacation leave. So in this video, sasagutin natin ang tatlong tanong at isang bonus question later. So I suggest you watch this video from start to end. Concise lang po ito, direct to the point, and with example. Are you ready to watch the full video? If yes, so let's get started. Welcome back to our video. So our topic today is monetization of lib credits. Let's start with the first two questions. Question number one. Pwede ba ma-monetize o convert to cash ang vacation leave and sick leave na mga employees? Second question. Ilan ba ang minimum days and maximum days sa sick leave and vacation leave na pwede i-monetize within the year? Answer, Section 22, Civil Service Memorandum Circular Number 41 ang sasagot sa dalawang Question natin. So, allow me to read the content of the section 22. CSC Memorandum Circular Number 41. Monetization of LIB Credits. Officials and employees in the career and non-career service, whether permanent, temporary, casual, or coterminous, who have accumulated 15 days, of vacation leave credits shall be allowed to monetize a maximum of 10 days minimum of 10 days rather provided that at least 5 days is retained after monetization and provided further that maximum of 30 days in a given year so employees nasagot na yung first two questions so, ang minimum days na pwede natin i-monetize is 10 days. Provided meron tayong 15 days sa vacation leave. So, yan yung requirement ng civil service. And then, yung maximum days na pwede i-monetize sa sick leave and vacation leave is 30 days within the year. So, very clear. 10 days ang minimum, 30 days ang maximum days. Okay? So, moving forward to our third question. Pwede ba ma-monetize ang 50% of all vacation and sick leave credits? Answer? Section 23. CSC Memorandum Circular Number 42 Allow me to read the content Monetization of 50% of vacation and sick leave credits Monetization of 50% of all the accumulated leave credits may be allowed for valid and justifiable reasons subject to the discretion of the agency head and availability of funds. So, employees, very clear yung answer sa question number 3 na nandun sa section 23. CSA Memorandum Circular number 42. So, pwede pala i-monetize ang 50% of all accumulated leave credits ng sick leave tsaka vacation leave provided merong justifiable reasons. And of course, 
subject to the approval of the agency head, head ng office natin. And lastly, merong availability of funds. So, very clear. So, pwede pala. Okay? So, ano yung bonus question natin and bonus answer sa sinabi ko earlier? Well, ang bonus question natin, employees, is ano ba ang mga example ng valid and justifiable reasons para sa monetization ng 50% of all vacation and sick leave? So, meron tayong example niyan. No? Yan yung bonus answer natin. So, allow me to read the answer to the bonus question. This is it. Example of valid and justifiable reasons for monetization of 50% or more of the accumulated leave credits. Number one, health, medical, and hospital needs of the employee and the immediate members of the family. Two, payment of mortgages and loans which were entered into for the benefit of the employee and his and her immediate family. Number three, in cases of extreme financial needs of the employee or his, her immediate family where the present sources of income are not enough to fulfill basic needs such as food, shelter, and clothing. And number four, other analogous cases as may be determined by the commission. So employees, pwede pala, no? Uh, pag may valid reason tayo, just a valid reason, pwede tayo maka-monetize 50% of all accumulated sick leave and vacation leave. For example, if you have 200 leave credits, no? sick leave at vacation leave, so 50% of that, which is 100 days, pwede yan siya i-monetize and convert to cash provided mayroong valid reason and justifiable reason. Employees, I have this personal experience before, nakamonetize ako ng 50% ng leave credits ko. My valid reason was financial problem. Financial distress due to COVID-19 pandemic. And yung laundry business ko nag-shutdown. And yung source of income ko hindi na maka-sustain sa basic needs ko. What I did was write a letter to our branch head. Then, state ko yung reason ko na financial problem due to COVID-19 pandemic. And I was approved then for monetization of 50% leave credits. So, kayo, kung may problema kayo sa financial, meron kayong problema sa health, medical, sa sarili nyo, may sakit kayo, na-hospitalize kayo, yung family members nyo, may utang kayo sa credit card na malaki, may housing loan kayo na hindi nababayaran, na hindi na-update, pwede yan siya makonsider na valid reason and justifiable reason for monetization of your 50% accumulated leave credits. Okay? Basta may approval ng branch head or agency head, and of course, availability of funds. So, thank you for watching our helpful videos for you, employees. So, if you like our video, please click the like button or thumbs up button. And please subscribe at my YouTube channel and notification bell also para updated kayo sa next video ko. Rest assured, I will make more helpful and educational videos for employees. Next week, every week tayo magagawa ng videos. So, see you next week. Bye for now. Keep safe and healthy. God bless. And two thumbs up.